Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is Kintree Islands, and if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do Let's Plays, tutorials, tips, tricks on City Skylines. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and share. The last time we left off, we put in a zoo, and it's right over here. We did a full thing. Now I do know that a lot of my time lapses are a little too fast. So in the last one with the zoo, I slowed it down a little bit. And for now on, I'm gonna try to really just slow it down a little bit so you guys could follow along a lot easier. So today's episode, we're gonna put in a shipping cargo, um, a train cargo, a new highway exit. We're gonna open two new tiles. And yeah, so stick around and check it out and let's get into it. So the first thing I did was open up two brand new tiles and this will help us to expand and add our cargo and trains and do all those lovely things. So I go ahead and pick that one and the one on the bottom. So next we're going to do the shipping cargo. Now this was not wide enough obviously. So I had to delete all this and terraform the bottom half of this area. And it didn't take very long. Um, it was just not wide enough and really not what I had imagined. I don't know what I was thinking with the cargo ship. It's a lot wider obviously, especially the hub. Not the cargo ship itself. The car cargo ship is not that big. But the hub with the trains attached is. So yeah, I just went ahead, I terraformed it, added the keys back, and then I add some roads. So now that we got the roads in, I connected up the rail. I only connected it to one side. I thought we didn't need both sides coming in. Eventually, if I wanna add the other side, I can. It's not a huge deal. And I kept this in the water. Uh, reason being is with the keys, you can't really get it too close to the key. And I really wanted it on either the edge of the key or not at all. So I kind of kept it right off and it kind of fit in perfectly. Then I attached it to the land here. It is a huge dip, but it's not, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, but I don't think it's too bad of um, a too steep of a hill. So we'll see how it goes. But I am getting better at attaching these trains and not uh, leaving too little space so where they can get congested. Next we're going to add a cargo train down where I opened up one of the new tiles. 
The reason why I did not bring a road in when bring the tracks in closer to the farm is I don't really want to draw too much tra uh, traffic to that area. So I figured, you know what, let them come to the cargo instead of the cargo coming to the farm and it should help with minimizing the traffic over in that area. So that's exactly what I did. I just brought the tracks um, just out from here and I just left really, we went with where the tracks were instead of running new tracks for this one. I just think it was more practical. So off of the road where the cargo um, train is, I'm going to just run the main road and then I'm going to have one ways coming in and out of there to kind of minimize on traffic. Eventually we will have more industry over above there. There's some oil and I plan on using it. So I do want to keep the traffic to a minimum. So next I'm going to run a six lane road along the coast here to connect to the farming area. We do have a six lane coming down the middle and that's exactly where I connect to. And this gives the distance between the cargo station and the uh, industry a lot of room. In here I decided to connect, give like a direct connection through here to the main highway down on the end. So they're gonna have a lot of ways to get in and out. And again, I'm kind of forward thinking as far as traffic goes. You know, they have a lot of options that they can use besides going into the town. Now I'm just going to make a road connecting the two neighborhoods together by the cargo station. So because the cargo was pretty short considering it was like an eight minute episode, I decided to add a new highway. Um, I'm doing a little forward thinking. This is a, quite a distance from our other uh, highway exit. And we do have the overpass uh, down by the cargo now, but they do need direct highway access right here. So later on in future episodes we do have oil down here we have forestry down here i want to put a neighborhood down here uh, maybe some kind of train setup i don't know but we do have the need for the highway exit anyway i do something a little unique i do the dog bone style um highway exit and i just put it in a little bit different so i'm curious to see how it's going to run So I know you guys are thinking, wow, after the last freeze frame, this thing is going to be enormous. Um, it is in the span of it. It's quite large lengthwise, but I do keep the ramps tight. So we can fill in quite a bit of space. And I did use the big roundabouts because I will be having industry coming around and, you know, this, this will fill in. So I just wanted to make sure it will handle the traffic.
So lastly, what I do is I just rerun these train tracks uh, and run some roads to our new highway. And uh, yeah, then we're going to complete the episode. So here we are at the end of the episode and we did actually quite a bit it doesn't look like a well it does look like a lot because we opened up two new tiles and we put in a new highway and we have some cargo so we did do a lot um it just didn't seem like a lot because there wasn't like big things going on i guess i don't know for me it just seemed you know like another filler episode but it's so forward thinking for everything I mean we're pretty well set for expanding the city again so I mean we have our population around 38,000 I think and it should really go up quite a bit in the next couple of episodes um here's our nice shipping cargo it looks so beautiful I love that so next episode there's so many directions I can go in I my head is spinning I don't even know where to start but um <laughs> This I should do a bloopers because every time I turn on the record button, my dog starts either chasing the cat or eating his food or doing something. Ugh. 
So anyway, <laughs> we have the oil, we have the forestry. Uh, our unemployment, I think, is decently high. It might be around 8 9%, so I do want to get that down. I do want to add an intercity train somewhere. Trains are not my specialty, but we'll see what we can do with that. And, you know, probably another residence somewhere. So I'm just trying to narrow it down. I also do want to do college uh, sports and college revamp of the whole area. So as always, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Come join us on the next episode, and I'll see you later. Bye!